Alright fellas, I decided to do a video uh, showing exactly what's under the hood, so to speak, on the animated Lionel cars. Uh, I got some guys emailing me and asking me on my uh, my other page, which I have on Facebook, uh, about these cars and how they work and how, how they repair them. And I'm going to uh, pull the hoods off and show you exactly how the mechanism works. So um, if you have the opportunity to pick one up that needs work or repair or missing parts, you can uh, do it yourself and don't be afraid to make the investment. All right, we're going to start off with the one you guys should all know. The, uh, the zoo cars, this one's a turtleback zoo. Bronx zoo is the most common one. All right, um, this is, as a giraffe, the body is very lightweight plastic. You got a counterweight on the back. The whole thing sells in with a pin. Okay, one spring on the other side. All right. And you got the cam actuator. Actually, this, uh, I'm sorry, this is the cam. The cam actuator is mounted on the track. This is the cam. All right. And how it works. All right, the cam runs over the cam actuator. Pushes up on it. Makes the giraffe go down. And I release this. That spring going to give it tension. And the counterweight is going to make that giraffe pop back up. Very simple. Very simple device. Um, if you're missing any part on this, you can duplicate it, do Goldberg it together. Uh, watch my videos and you'll learn how. All right. Um, everything comes apart very, very easily. All right. That takes care of that one. Let's move on to the big boy. Okay. This is the Animal Transportation Service. And. Uh, See the map of Africa there. I have a, a good friend of mine who lives in Africa, Jan. Uh, shout out to you. Uh, I wonder whether you have something to do with this ingenious device. All right, here we go. First off, let me show you the bottom. You see how different it is from those zoo cars? You have no cam, no cam actuator on the bottom. Okay? This is a totally self-contained mechanism. All right, what you do have on the bottom, on the front axle. You got two gears. That big gear is turned by the worm gear, which is on the axle. Okay, when those wheels turn, that worm gear turns, turns the big gear. Now here, this is where it gets really interesting. You see that cone-shaped plastic? That's connected to the big wheel. Now when that turns, that cone turns. When that cone turns, and it gets to the high point, the giraffe is outside the car, sticking his head up to the roof. As it turns and goes down, the giraffe goes inside the car. That is a pretty slick, slick device. I've never seen a cone-shaped cam before. That cone is the cam. The gear on the bottom is the cam actuator. If you want to think of them like that in mechanical terms. And that's how they work. Very simple. What's beautiful about all of these things, which made me get hooked on them, is the simplicity of them. Simple mechanics. Nothing electric here. Nothing is electrical. Okay, everything is simple mechanics. All right, that cam just brings it up and down. And of course, the giraffe is on a straight piece, which is kind of like a seesaw with a pivot point in the middle. All right, that's the way that works. All right, now let's move on to another one, which... I actually just picked up two of these. I'm going to show you this one first. Okay. This is how it works. This is a great piece for guys that have layouts with a lot of turns and twists. Okay. This thing rocks back and forth around the turns. Okay. White horse comes out. Round horse comes out. Okay. Back and forth. Okay. That's what happens. Okay. How the heck does that work? Okay. And you got the same on the other side. Okay. Ground horse, white horse. How the heck does that work? Now I'm going to show you how it works. I love this device. Check this out. Okay. This is a total and complete balancing act. That's all it is, is a balancing act. Absolutely nothing mechanical. Okay, look at this. How freaking cool is this, huh? One pin in the center of the car, perfectly centered, perfect. This sits on top of it, 
and you got a perfect balance. Okay? Perfect balance. You got a two headed white horse, two headed brown horse that goes in and out on both sides of the car, out the windows on both sides of the car. Okay? If you got a uh, layout with a lot of twists and turns that rocks it back and forth, I'm telling you, this thing looked, it looked, it looked pretty cool. And um, uh, uh, with all of these things, they come with different characters. Of course, instead of horses, they have one with a sheriff and an outlaw. Okay, with guns that come in and out of the windows. Okay, um, but this one is, uh, I mean, I don't think anything gets more simpler than this. Whoever came up with this idea of making a Lionel car out of this. It looks like a, it reminds me of a, uh, a playground ride, you know. Um, how simple can you get than that? I don't think you can get any more simple. All right, so they do sell replacement horses. Should you lose one, crack one, whatever, you know, uh, you know, the kids can't pull them off and play with them if they're not supervised, obviously. Um, the same with this draft here. This draft on the big car. Well, I mentioned that. I want to show you this. This draft comes off very easily. He pops right off very easily. Okay, see the little slit in the bottom. Okay, and um, so he pops right off very easily, and he pops right back on very easily, okay? So, nothing to be concerned about there if that should pop off on you, okay? So, um, all right, guys, you got it now. You looked under the hood. You see what uh, makes these things tick, and so uh, if you get the opportunity to pick one up that needs repair, don't hesitate. Go for it. Hope this is helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. Welcome, Daniel.